There is a new law in Bertopia. Bertopia is my land. It's my land. These are my people. I am the dictator. There is no Congress. I make the rules, and they must be followed or get the hell out of here. In Bertopia, the time listed on the door of your establishment and also listed on Google when you're open and when you're closed has to be 100% accurate. In other words, if you're going to, if it says you're open until five o'clock, the doors are open and you must continue to work and take customers until five o'clock at night. What happened? That's fair. Mm-hmm. What happened? That This is a new role in Britannia. <laughs> So my son gets out of school at 3.30. Doesn't take, uh, he doesn't have a lot of time between um, him getting out of school and soccer practice. And I don't have a whole bunch of time. He's also kind of a last minute dude. So the prom was this weekend. The junior senior prom was this weekend. So last week, uh, he's like, I don't have a tux, man. <laughs> and the prom is Saturday. I'm like, did they change the date of the prom or something that you're all last minute on it? No, I'm a teen, man. (laughs) That's pretty much what I heard. So um, we start going from store to store, uh, Tuck's place, bridal place to bridal place, try to find somebody that in five days can turn around a Tuck's rental. We ain't buying, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. One of the places that we went to in Atlanta is a bridal place that is one of the most popular in the city. I don't want to call it out by name, but I was surprised so that I was surprised that they actually rent tuxes in this place. But they close at five o'clock. We had just gone to three places that either don't do rent. I think we went to Nordstrom's and you needed an appointment. And there were other places that we went that didn't do uh, rentals. You have to purchase. And my son's not done growing, hopefully. Um, so I wasn't going to buy anything. That's for sure. So I pull up to this bridal shop. And the closing time is 5 o'clock. 5 o'clock. It is 4.50. We walk in there. Lady, very, very, very nice, turns us away and says, the registers in our place for that section are closed already. So we are closed. And I'm like, well, it says out here it's 5 o'clock. And she's like, yeah, I'm really sorry. You guys are going to have to come back tomorrow because that section now is closed. I'm saying it's five o'clock. It says it right there. It's five o'clock. It's four fifty. I got ten minutes right here. <sighs> so I just turned away, and then we went to the place that we went to last year. I don't know why we didn't just go there first time. Men's <laughs> warehouse where they have everything and uh-huh. cool as hell. And he found his thing. So I don't know who's right or who's wrong here. So I'm just asking the question: In what industries should you expect to not be served if you show up? blank amount of time before closing time. I asked Cassie this last week. So, for instance, if you're going someplace to get fitted, what is really the closing time? Is it 30 minutes before? Is it 15 minutes before? If a bar is open until 2 o'clock, really, what is the closing time? Because you can't just pull up there at one fifty nine and think you're going to get in. Um, I think you might have brought up, Cassie, last week, salons maybe, nail salons, hair salons. Yeah, like nail salons. Like, you can't walk in 10 minutes before close and ask for a full set because it's going to take way longer past closing. It takes an hour and 15 minutes to do something like that. So I guess that's my question more than anything else. 1-855-BIRCHO. What do you want them, your customers, to know? Like, look, I work in this industry. Don't show up blank amount of time right before we close or you're going to get turned away and this is just the industry standard. one 855 I used to work at a vet clinic for many years and it would drive me insane when people came in with non-emergencies. Emergency, different story. But like non-emergencies and not just to buy food but like for a walk and appointment like 10 minutes before we closed. And I'm like, dude, there's also breakdown we have to do after we close like cleaning cages, all that stuff. You're making the staff stay so much longer because you planned poorly. Well, knowing that, why wouldn't the place say that their closing time is 4.30 so they have to 5 to really close? I don't know who to put this on. 
I mean, that's a good point as well. I guess you would hope that people would be a little respectful. Like, because popping in to buy a bag of food for your dog, or like I said, with an emergency with your animal, completely different. But like walking in, oh, Zelda has a growth on her ear we've known about for three months, but we decided <laughs> today, five minutes before you close on a Friday, that it'll be a good timing to get it checked out. I'm like, come on. You could have waited till tomorrow or Monday. I think anything that can be done rapidly the closing time is the closing time. So if you need to pop into a grocery store and grab something, if you need to like go into the bank and make a deposit, like mm. anything that can be done swiftly, I feel like that like you can show up five, 10 minutes. Anything before that, like getting measured for a tux, which mm-hmm. will probably take you a solid 30 minutes, showing up 10 minutes before they close, mm-hmm. probably not the best idea. So a bank is a really good example also. So what you're saying is, look, if you're just going in for a withdrawal, yes. that's nothing. Mm-hmm. But if you're going in for a loan, yes. that's something totally different. Exactly. And that's the problem is everybody's always going to be different when they come in there. Like I remember working in the clothing industry and if we had 10, 15 minutes, there are people who will come in and be done in 10 to 15 mm-hmm. minutes. But then there were also people who would come in and they'd be in the dressing room and they'd taking a time and now you got to work an additional hour that you're not going to get paid for. So I understand it from both sides. Shouldn't you prepare for that as the business for the worst possible scenario, though? So if someone's coming in for a loan, shouldn't you close at 4.30 instead of 5? Prepare for the worst? I don't... Well, yeah, you can, but I think those are anomalies. And so why would you com- you know, change your complete mm-hmm. business structure and screw yourself out of all that 30-minute business for one person that might right. come in for a loan? Hey, Jeremy, good morning. What industry are we talking about here? Morning, guys. Love the show, by the way. Thank you. Morning. I used to work in the restaurant business, and I'll tell you this, uh, in the bars and stuff, if they're closing at, we'll say, 1 a.m., they, they're closing at 1 a.m., and you come in at 1245 for some food, trust me, those kitchen guys are going to be pissed. You're going to get your food, but it's going to be the worst food you've ever eaten. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Thanks. that's the half an hour of the pluck and drop right there. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Burt Show.